Esther both share an interest in talking about God's providence. I mean, Esther is a fascinating book in that it's one of two Old Testament books, the other one being the Song of Songs, and that's debated, um, that never mentions the name of God. Esther never once talks about God. But you can't read the book of Esther or the book of Ruth without seeing God's hidden hand of providence at work. I mean, take the book of Ruth after Ruth and Naomi return to Bethlehem uh, and Ruth goes off to glean in a field. It just so happens that she gleans in the field of Boaz, who of course turns out to be her near kinsman, uh, whom she will eventually marry. Or notice all the ironic reversals in the book of Esther, um, where, where something that somebody means for evil turns out to be a great uh, benefit for God's people. Um, for instance, when, just to pick a couple of examples, when Haman builds this tremendous impaling pole in the back of his uh, house, it seems like, in his backyard, that he intends to impale Mordecai on, uh, God, through his hidden hand of providence, works the situation. So it's not Mordecai, but rather Haman himself who is hanging on that pole. And uh, Haman, who had induced the king of Persia to set a date by the Purim, by the lots to exterminate the Jews, he works the situation out. So rather than having the, the Jews exterminated on that date, it's their enemies. And if you read closely in the book of Esther, this is fascinating. Um, this is an age-old rivalry. I mean, Mordecai is described as a descendant of Kish and Shammai, who are relatives of Saul. And Haman is an Agagite. And if you go back to 1 Samuel 15, you see that Saul faced King Agag of the Amalekites in a battle and he defeated him. But Samuel, the prophet, is irate with Saul because he didn't exterminate uh, Agag and the Amalekites. Why is he so upset? Well, he's upset because if you go back to Exodus 17, the Amalekites had, had uh, picked off straggling Israelites as they're leaving the Egyptian uh, as they're leaving Egypt and so God determined that the Amalekites would be judged and Deuteronomy 25 also speaks to this um, so the Amalekites were set to eradicate the Jews but God is the one who wins this final victory